everybody um wearing another pair of my specs i can't see you when i wear them so i'm sorry i've got to take them off um oh i've got to look there you must look there um thank you to all of you who've been watching my videos my vlogs talking about glasses hazel who watches my vlogs a lot of people will ask me how do i buy my glasses online and so i linked I, I did a little video to show you how to order your glasses online the company that i like to buy from in, in the main i have bought from other people but in the main it's a company called zenny and so i did a little vlog about how to uh, order online from zenny and hazel one of the viewers she bought some and she's thrilled to bits with them i think she is the the first email that i got back from her was saying that she was thrilled to bits with it now i am wearing a vivace dolman top and it should have a button that way i have actually made this split like that instead of having the fold down here and again fabric was green dyed it and it's purple so i just want to show you something that i've got this is the first one of the first one of the seven let me put you there because i need to i need to no i should put you somewhere where there's no, i've got a cat here i've got a cat should we say hello to this cat let's get say hello oh yes are you a lovely girl are you a lovely girl eh? are you a lovely girl say hello to the people there you're not going to say hello Hiya! Hi everybody! Right, this is dirty. I'm doing it from my phone, which is not really good sometimes, but anyway, there you go. That's my pussy cat. Right, so let's find some place to put you because I want to tell you about. We'll put you in the picture. Do you want to be in the picture? Hmm? Do you want to be there? Yes. What I want to tell you about is something that I. I'm going to have to raise you a bit. Is Where have I put it? Oh, it's here. <laughs> Can't find it. It's I downloaded. Um, now, who was it? I can't remember her name. Lovely girl. I'll tell you in a minute who it was. Oh, it's on the phone. I can't tell you. <laughs> anyway, um, a lady, a young girl, was taking a picture of herself on the beach with her husband or a partner I think it's her partner she lives in Newcastle I believe it's Newcastle and uh, she was wearing a hat and she put down this was on Instagram and she put down on Instagram where she'd got this hat from uh, she made it and it was by LB Textiles and so I thought I've got to get one of those patterns. Now the first one, I actually downloaded two. I think they're about $3 or something. It's an Australian company, LB Textiles. And the first one I downloaded was the Sorrento bucket hat. And actually the one she, she was wearing, I think she's done both of them. But it's something I really fancy doing. I'm probably late in the day because we're coming to winter. We're starting to head towards autumn. But I thought it was, would be quite a nice one. Oh, I haven't downloaded the instructions on the other one. But there's this one is the this one is the Sorrento hat, and the other one is the Serpentine hat. And the Serpentine hat is a lot bigger. It's got a long brim. It's like a sun hat that really goes out. So I thought, right, I'm downloading these two patterns. And uh, again, helpful thing. I don't down when I print off. I do it onto. Now I found out what you call it because a lot of people told me. And then when they mentioned it, I thought, oh, yes, they're right. That's what it is. Onto bank paper. It's a very thin paper. And when you print it off, it's much better to stick together, I think. It doesn't take up as much room when you fold it all up. So I printed both of those off. And I've made the first one. The first one I've made is the Sorrento hat. And do you want to see what it looks like? I'll show you. Hang on. This is my Sorrento hat first attempt i'm really pleased with it it's um i used some quilting cotton and um the uh quilting cotton and it's reversible so i can have it that way or i can have it that way and i love it i think it's great um have, have i got my glasses on no i think it's really great it's <laughs> you can have it like that or you can have it like that and one day I'm going to show you all my hats because I love hats. 
and I make hats and I buy hats and my favourite hat is a really ridiculous one and whenever we go walking in the winter I like to put it on one day I'll show you my hat but this is I thought it was lovely I loved this hat um, and as I say it's reversible and it was so easy to make anyway so this is my first thing that I did this week one in seven and I love it I really do do you want to see it the other way around I'll put it the other way around but this is the other way around this is the other way around and I like it I just think it's lovely great with grey hair if you've got grey hair uh, you may have noticed I'm trying to do I'm trying to do vlogs I'm doing a natter one which is no not a natter one I'm doing five and seven which i'm trying to do every week but it doesn't always prove to work out every week because i have other things on despite being retired i still have jobs to do and i'm doing um a natter a natter with my viewers and i'm going to do a little how to do something how to make a hat how to do uh, i've done a, how to cover boxes how to make the hood and silo and i'm going to do a few more like that for you so um Yes, this was really, really good make. I did enjoy it. My favourite side is the purple side, the lilac side, as you know. I wonder why. <laughs> I never liked this purple as much when I was younger, you know. I mean, well, I was I was a lover of purple. I have to say, our, our trophy website is purple. I insisted on it being purple. And my gift with love, my gift site on eBay is purple and uh, the sign for my shop was purple i don't know if you can see there the sign for my shop when i had my my shop that sold everything from gifts to jewelry and um and well lots of other things were purple purple ring purple ring <laughs> anyway um so that i i would highly recommend it. it's a great pattern um i did it it took me now i know i'm probably I'm probably an advanced sewer, but I would have thought you'd have to be, if you were a good beginner and you knew what you were doing, you could get away with it. So that is my Sorrento hat. That's number one. <music> wardrobe the other day and I came across a shirt that I made like this I made two I think one was a grey one but I had done it sleeveless and it had a this panel in here but I have a short back and I think on the second one that I did, made I took that out and I actually liked the shape of it without that waistband part in so I was looking at it and I thought oh I might make another one but this time I'm going to make sleeves like that with no cuff on because I always like a three quarter sleeve but I don't want to cuff on it. I'm going to do it without that waistband. The um, collar is different on this one. The, the way that they do the collar, I've just opened the packet and I've noticed that I've actually recut this because this is the collar that they did. So the last time I made a one where it was in two parts so this time I think I shall try the full colour the way that they've done it and see if it turns out as nicely as that. I might have a look at some pictures to see whether what they look like and if needs be I may not go from there I might go back to this one but we'll, I'll have a look and see what the colours look like on the ones that have people who followed the right pattern. Uh, the fabric I'm going to use is this. This was uh, in one of my fabric hauls. It was some fabric I got on eBay, and it said it was for. It, they said it was sweatshirt material, but what they meant was it's shirt material. So when it came, I was expecting to get some sweatshirt material with it, and I was expecting it to have that lining, but it's not. This is actually cotton, so it's like a shirt material. Uh, it's navy blue with lovely pinks and things, so we'll see what that turns out like. I have this much fabric left, and I've got sleeves uh, sleeves to cut out. And this is the sleeve. I'm just going to get it on here, but it's not going to be long enough. 
So I guess I'm going to do a bit of patchwork. I'm going to cut. I'm going to basically get that round there like that. Go around there, cut around there. Pull that across there. I'll get it across there and I'll just cut across here and then I'm going to have to cut a bottom half to go with it using what scraps I have left. Well, this is going to be fun and games because I'm going to have some sleeves that go to about there, but they're going to have to be made into two pieces. And what I've found is that this bit here, this panel down here, I don't have enough fabric left. So it's going to have to be a half one. I'm going to have to stop there and then I'm going to have to join this bottom skirt so that it's more like a dress. So it'll be quite fun to try it and see if I can do this hack. Um, so watch this space. <laughs> All I've got left is scraps there, some little pieces there and a fairly longer piece. So I haven't got enough to make the rest of that strap. But I think I know how I can get round it. Do you know me? I'll always find a way. And this is how it's turned out. It is, uh, had to make some major adjustments because again, I didn't have enough fabric. Um, the main one was this button placket should have gone all the way down, but I didn't have enough fabric to do the full button placket. So I've done it to there. The button placket stops there, goes up to the top. Uh, I decided to do the collar the way that they had the collar where it was there wasn't a stand on it and it just was all a full collar that goes down. Because I did the button placket, I <laughs> I cut this out and I never looked at the instructions after that. So anything that's been done has been done because I have just decided I'm going to do it this way. Uh, um, so if you notice something, you say, well, she hasn't done that the way it was on the pattern. That's probably because I did it through my own and my own working out the sleeves again as you know i had to put a piece on the bottom there that's a piece because i didn't have enough fabric um the front because it because it didn't um i didn't continue the placket i i didn't put the darts in and i actually prefer it without the darts because i have a big bottom and a big belly and so it flares out a bit more i didn't put the darts in and because i didn't put the darts in that compensated for the fact that this wasn't going to have a placket going down there. And uh, on the, I think I also took it a bit, in, a bit once, I'd done the, once I'd done the top, I matched the bottom to the top so that I had to cut a little bit off the sides to, and taper it out a bit the way it is. So the sides go like that, uh, go up and round the back and uh, I think it's rather nice. I, that's my favourite saying. I think it's rather nice. Um, anyway, you can make a judgment on what you think of it. that I showed you in my uh, last five and seven well this is what I've done with it I have made this and I love it I do love it I think it's really nice and the pattern that I used was the V it was a new look pattern and I showed you it the other week I've got a bump there. Hang on. That's better. Not enough fabric, so I had to make the sleeves a bit shorter. And um, the I did make a facing for this. It actually gives you a facing, but I decided I didn't want the facing, and I just turned the fabric over there, and I did a double stitch, a double row, a, a row of double stitching very close to each other. You can see probably best there and so just simply because it just made life easier I just thought I'd do that so there you go this is um, again it's one of those that I like because it goes from just below the bust and um, 
I think it's very flattering. At least I hope it is. I hope you like it. <laughs> but yeah, it's and the colour, believe it or not, I do like the colour. And this is the one, do you remember? When I dyed it, 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 it was a yellowy mustard. It was a it was um that colour. The colour of your alpha, which like a daffodil, a very strong daffodil yellow. And I just didn't think, I thought that might look a bit, uh, a bit yucky on me. Dyed it purple. It turned out brown, but the inside is purple. So there you go. I think it makes a big difference because it's a very soft drapey fabric. So it does drape very well. It's a soft jersey, very thin. I would have probably, if I was buying it, I would probably have avoided it and thought, oh, I'm not getting that, it's too thin. But actually, it is very flattering because it is that drapey fabric that covers bumps and bulges. I've already done a video on this, but I thought it's a, I made a mistake. The pattern that I used was this one. It was New Look 6435, and the version that I did was version B. It was not the other one. The other one was that grey one that I used on my when we went to the garden centre, the grey one where I put the black band. I love this. I didn't think I would like chocolate brown, rust brown, let's say. It's called a rust brown, but I do love it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Anyway, I like this the top so much that I made a second one, and this is from some uh, some Jenny Flake Year fabric again, drapey type of fabric. I got it, uh, it when I got it. It was a beige colour. Beige is not not for me. Dyed it purple. The next pattern that I made, I actually made this a while ago. Uh, it was, oh, might have been pre-lockdown or even before that. I watched Janine Sews uh, before she since she since moved house. But when I watched Janine Sews, she did a lovely top, and the top that she made was I put a link to Janine Sews down there to, to the top that she made. But this was New Look N6638. Thought that was really nice, that one. With the, um, which one was it? What? Yeah, it was that one, the longer one. View A. She, I think she made View A, or was it possibly that she made View B, which is the blue one up there. But whichever one it was, I liked the one that she wore. So I thought I've got to make one like that. And I've made one like that. And I'll show you it. First one I made was this one, um, which I like, but the colour, the colour's not doing it for me. I just wasn't uh, liking the colour at all. I tend to feel it's a bit too weak and watery for me. I like darker colours. So, might be going the dye way, I don't know, because it's that's the fabric. I'll show you the fabric up close. That's a fabric, absolutely lovely fabric, and um, don't know. I did like it anyway. I thought it was lovely, and I liked the way that you could have the the tie back to the front or the back. You could have it either way. Uh, I've put pictures up to show you how it can be both ways. Um, but I haven't yet worn it, and um, I think it's the fabric that's stopping me from wearing it because. I just don't feel, I feel it's a bit too weak and watery to go with my hair. I feel I need something a bit brighter or a bit colourful. And so, I don't know, I might either dye it or I might just wear it for bed or something. I don't know. It's a shame because it is a lovely top. I do like it. And I followed that with another top, the, exactly the same style. But this one was... Um, using some year fabric and I didn't have enough which is not ha happened so many times with me I didn't have enough of this fabric in fact I'll put it on the hanger to keep, to keep so you can see and um I managed the I, I put some because I didn't have enough I didn't have enough to make the facing so I used my black again 
and ended up with this slightly on the side it was intended to be in the middle but slightly on the side which i don't mind because it actually looks quite nice slightly off center um the other thing was that i don't i don't know if you can see there can you see there i ran out when i was setting it laying it out on the fab on the pattern the pattern on the fabric i had a big chunk missing out of there so i've put a piece in and fortunately because of the way the pattern is you can't tell i haven't finished the edges i just figured right so over the top and uh because it's jersey it won't fray and i've worn this a couple of times and it doesn't make you know it doesn't show it doesn't show that much so at least nobody's made any mention of it and i think from a distance you wouldn't notice anyway and the in thing is to make scrap stuff so that has gone down a lot better than this one so i don't know i might just change the color on that one but i do like the style i think it's really nice i think also possibly i need to lose a bit of weight a fraction of weight because that's a little bit clingy this one isn't so bad so that one was um what was it called new look n6638 did i have any issues with it no i thought it was very straightforward something it's an easy so i shouldn't have any issues with it and i finished it very quickly i think it only took me about an hour an hour an hour and a half to make so yes i would highly recommend that one really really nice pattern that's the back view that's the back view it's a really nice i think what's nice is that the round the waist the waist on this one is elasticated so you've got a little bit of give on on it and i just think i thought it was uh, a good well i put elastic on is it meant to have elastic on yes it's got a quarter inch wide elastic it's got the waist is elasticated which means you've got a bit more room for when you've had those big meals in the evening or where whenever during the daytime uh, very great lovely pattern i will be using that one again So where am I up to? Number five. Well, a lot of you, do you remember Luna Lapin, the rabbit book? Well, when I put that up on my last one, a lot of you quickly messaged me and said that the works was selling Luna Lapin, Lapin books. I think I had said I'd got mine for, I actually got mine for £12, but the one that I referenced was £15, and I think you can, could get it cheaper. But a lot of people said, go to the works, which is in England, it's a a shop that sells stationery come it, books uh, writing books and some book i can't remember if it, yeah books like this reading books and stuff and uh, um non-fiction books and i'm not sure if it does fiction but anyway i knew of the works and they said go there i think it was um the first one to mention it was Claire from Penguin and Pear and then it, soon after a few others mentioned it so I went immediately to the works because we don't have a works in our town and I went online and I came across I couldn't get Luna Lapin one but I got sewing Luna Lapin friends get a bit closer for you to see Luna Lapin friends and you've got all these little animals that you can do as well and I thought Ooh, I'll go for that so i ordered this and i think it would cost me five pound i can't remember if it was delivery but the delivery wasn't very expensive and it came within a couple of days but i wanted to show you what there is in this one these will make great presents my my granddaughters are all already envying fancying something like you know one of these this is the fox and he's called just the fox ralph reynard ralph reynard and uh, reynard is french for fox if for those of you who didn't know and he's got he's got um his coat and his breeches pattern for his coat and breeches uh there's his coat i'll tell you what i'll bring this down this way and then you can see it better his coat and his breeches and then um i need to put a weight on this side to stop it from in my box of pens and things on uh, you've got the coat and breeches and then and then his cravat his nice little cravat 
Freddy the Badger. Is he a badger? The nice thing about this is actually on this side is a story. Luna and her brand new friend. So they've written, I, f I forgot to mention this, they've actually got little stories going through here. And so you could even make the animal and read the story to, to whoever it's for. Really, really lovely book. Not just for the pattern, not just for the making of it, but for the little storyline throughout it as well. And so you've got the Reynard, Reynard the Badger. Uh, Freddy the Banjo, rather. And then, uh, what's next? You've got his little shirt. And his little waistcoat. And uh, even down to lining the waistcoat. Look at that. Even down to lining. And then we've got uh, a story about Luna Gets Lost. And so you've got another pattern for to make a little dress for Luna. And look, you can make Wellingtons for her. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they sweet? So, and then Luna goes to the seaside. So there's a story about Luna going to the seaside. And this little one is Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina, the mouse, I think she is. Is she a mouse? Wilhelmina. Yes, I think she's a mouse. A little Wilhelmina mouse with a little dress on. And then we go to... What's the next one after that? Wilhelmina's pin tuck dress. They're just so sweet little things. And you can use up all your scrap fabrics for them. And look, there's a little suitcase. How to make a suitcase. So I thought that would be a good idea. I just really quite fancy making a little suitcase for them. And these are the kind of things that I shall be doing in the winter months when it's horrible and cold and you want to make something just to sit by the fire and, and, or while you're watching TV. This is Luna's little coat, her little corduroy coat and her little pantalons. Aren't they gorgeous? Luna saves the Lido or Lido, Lido. And then we go to what comes next. If I can get it here. It's got her pantalons, how to make her pantalons. It's a full wardrobe and then Luna and the big dress project. And this is La Clairie. La, Clair La Clairière. No. Uh, who is this? This is Clementine and Clementine is the most stylish cat. And Clementine has a little dress that you make her. Isn't that gorgeous? I've got some uh, leftover dance fabric that the girl who worked for us gave me. And I can just see making the cat Clementine and dressing her up like that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then um, what have you got after that? Keep turning. You could even make her little handbag. Look at that. A frame top purse rather. You're probably using a purse but making it into a handbag. Then Luna and the Wonderful Woman. Luna and the woman, Wonderful Woman. And look, she's got a bed. She's got a nightdress on. And is this bed? Oh. Do they give you the pattern for the... Um, yes, they actually show you how to make... What's this? To make the mattress for the bed. And then... So you're making the mattress for the bed. So you're going to have to make get the bed. And then you've got pillows and sheets. And uh, look, you even put the buttons into the mattress. And then it shows you how to make the little quilt. Wow. So you're making a quilt. And then how to sew Luna's friends. So there's all Luna's friends. The fox, the cat, Clementine the cat, the badger and the mouse. Wow. So you've got basically the same instructions as you got in the other one. How to sew Wilhelmina, how to make Renault and and the badger. And then what's at the back? I don't know what's at the, oh, the back. At the back you've got the patterns. So you've got all the pattern, the pattern pieces to trace off. So you can make your own. And then the pattern pieces for the jackets and things and dungarees. 
Now that's Freddy's dungarees and that covers bigger than A4 so they're quite big animals they're really big animals and so um, and that the jackets and things show that there's just so many nice things in here and let me and Wellington's Luna's nighty Luna's corduroy coat and the suitcase that's a big suitcase that Yes, so, uh, and about the author, Cool Crafting founder Sarah Peel has a lifetime of experience within the fashion industry. Sensing a movement back to handmade, Sarah set up the business in 2011, providing inspirational workshops, supplies and kits for sewing and crafting. She lives on the edge of the English Lake District in Hincaster, Cumbria. Now, we are just on the other side from of the... Of the um, of the hills from Cumbria. Cumbria is only about an hour's drive away from us and she lives in a lovely part of England. Uh, Luna was born on a dark Christmassy night in 2013 and is now a huge part of the business. Of course Luna needed some company in her world and she was followed by Reno, May, Clementine, Freddie and Wilhelmina in that order. As well as selling online Sarah has a shop in Kendall, Cumbria. So she probably sells kits for making these and her website is www.coolcrafting.co.uk but that is a wonderful book i will as i reach as i go into my old age i think i'll be turning out a few of these not for any other reason but just the pleasure of making them so there you have it those are my five things supposedly in seven but it, they aren't in seven i did I, for example this top the pattern for this top the uh, n6638 didn't happen in the past month it happened uh i think bef during lockdown so i'm thinking about changing the title from not five and seven because the intentionally it was going to be five items that I've done or that I want to tell you about in seven days and it's just not working so I was thinking I might change the name uh, and I couldn't decide whether to have five five well I was thinking of it today the, this morning five in time no that didn't appeal right what was it five five do you know i can't think of what i was what i was going to call it but the next one you might find is not five and seven it's going to be five or something five five i don't even think it it had a rhyme it didn't rhyme five in time five and five if you can think of what i can call it put it down there and i will i will consider it because my bright my brain just can't work it out anyway so that is the five for you this time i've been having trouble putting my vlogs up because every time i've i've been trying to upload it i've uploaded it to youtube and it gets to 98 percent and then it says sorry can't do it so then i had to redo it again what i had to do was go back and uh delete that because it leaves it in draft format and it wouldn't upload it anymore then I had to delete it and then I had to re-upload it again and it did it 98% 99% and it said sorry can't upload it and this happened about five times and then when you think that it takes about half an hour to three quarters of an hour or sometimes even an hour to uplift upload it I was just getting really chewed off so in the end I thought oh what on earth is happening so this this video that you are watching at this at, at the moment i'm doing this one and it's the it's the 20th of september but when i started it was on about the 9th of september so it shows you how long it's taken to to put to do so i shall uh, love you and leave you and catch you next time